hello everyone so today we are going to do lead good weekly challenge th- uh, second question strictly palindromic number so as per the question and in tj n is strictly palindromic if for every base b between 2 to n minus 2 so basically we are given with the ranges of bases and these ranges basically between 2 to n minus 2 and both are being inclusive and the strength representation of integer n in base b is palindrome so basically whatever number which is being there that we are required to now represent as a string in with the base b in the form of palindrome so we are required to figure out all the palindromes which are being there with base 2 and uh, up to uh, up to n 2 so given an integer n return true if n is strictly palindromic and false otherwise so basically the n which is being given to us so according to that only we are required to figure out that if we take from 2 to n minus 2 right so here n is 9 in the first example so here when n is equals to 9 so here we are required to first check for the base 2 so when we take base 2 then in that context our n which is 9 here right so how we can write this n in the form of base 2 so that would be 1 0 right and which is basically a palindrome and in base 3 that is 9 right so how we can write this 9 with the base 3 that is in the form of 100 right so we write this particular as in this manner but now we see that 100 is not in the form of palindrome right but 2 was there but when we figure out that we are having 1 base which is not in the form of palindrome then we will directly return false so that's why our answer is basically false here and then when n equals to 4 so when n equals to 4 so we will return false for that fact that we are going from 2 right to n minus 2 and basically both of them are inclusive so we will go for 2 and then 3 and so that only we are able to go so here or uh, not even 3 because we require between them right means 2 and n minus 2 that is 4 minus 2 so it will be 2 only so we can only consider 2 and 4 could be written in this particular as 100 for base 2 so which is again not palindrome so this was our explanation for this particular question now comes the part that how we are required to code this question so basically in this question we are required to figure out what the palindrome so some portion of our code would be for palindrome and then we are required to figure out that from this particular base to this particular base what all palindromes we are required to go ahead with so that would be the thing which we will be figuring out in this question and then comes the part that we are required to form the uh, numbers with those particular base and these are the three portion which we are required to check for this particular question so now here comes the first portion where we are basically taking a flag which will be letting us know that are we able to figure out with any particular palindrome uh, any particular number which is not a palindrome so we are starting from base 2 to n minus 2 both of them are inclusive and then we are figuring out with the new string which will be formed and then we are checking that particular string in this particular is palindrome function and then we'll check that if it is not a palindrome then our okay will become false and we'll break from that and we'll return our okay so that's the thing which is the mean wrapper function for this and now comes the part this is a simple way that how we figure out for the palindrome we simply check uh, means we are having one string and the other string means one is the same length string and the other one is the reverse and we'll check that if they are equal or not if they are not then we'll return false so that's the thing which we are doing here and then in this particular portion we are simply figuring out for all the uh, numbers means forming our strings with the base 2 3 and up till n n minus 2 so that's the thing which we are doing here so we are uh, basically forming our new strings while n exists because here n, we are basically doing uh, means if n percent base b means whatever base we are have taken if it is not equals to 0 right so then we will be forming our numbers uh, basically till here we are able to figure out that digit and then we are able to figure out that adding of that particular digit as in the form of cat to our string and then we are dividing our um, digits so that it could now uh, simply uh, uh, divide itself to much more lower digit and we could figure out for the next digit so that's the thing which we are doing means simple mathematics else if that is not the case means if n doesn't exist then we'll directly add 
zero of basically the null uh, character will add there and directly divide that n and then we will be returning our s so that the thing which we are doing here in this particular function so this was pretty much easier way and in this particular you can directly check the time complexity for this overall solution is order of n only but the thing is that we are here checking for the reverse but that is also order of n and here also the operations which we are doing those are also order of n only here the thing is for this for loop which is uh, 2 to n minus 2 right so basically that is constant time so that's why the overall time complexity for this particular solution is order of n and the space complexity for this particular solution you can directly check that we are not using any extra space so that's why space complexity is order of 1 and time complexity is order of n so yeah this was all for this particular question and one more thing i would like to tell you it's about that a newton school is also about to start with some coding contest so you can find the link about the same in the description below which i uh, post soon so you got that the practice your coding skills there also and for that also the coding solutions will be posted after the contest so yeah this was all for this particular question so if you like the explanation you could uh, like and comment and share among your circle and this was all for it thank you